Hi, my name is Thomas Tuchel. He went on to Borussia Dortmund, but Thomas Tuchel is a coach made in Mainz. It was there that he learned his craft. It was there that he qualified for Europe with Andre Schoeler, Adam Salai and Lewis Holtby, a.k.a. the Wurfweg boys. And it was there that Tuchel became a name in the Bundesliga. Here are his top five moments with Mainz. What caused Thomas Tuchel to celebrate like this and Bayern Munich coach Louis van Gaal to look like this? Well, in August 2009, Tuchel was after his first ever win in the Bundesliga. An Austrian loney Andreas Evenschitz put the hosts in front after 25 minutes. An impressive start for Tuchel in his first game against Bayern. And eight minutes before the break, Aristide Bonse then made it even better. This is staggering! Bonse bathes in the delight of the crowd. A great leap both from Bonse and then from Thomas Tuchel as Mainz headed towards their first win against Bayern Munich. But in the second half, a 19-year-old Thomas Muller, yet to make a Bundesliga start for Bayern at this stage, made Mainz's Nikolci Neveski put through his own net two minutes after half-time. Mainz, though, held on on a day of firsts for the club, their first win over Bayern Munich, their first three points of the campaign, and a first victory in the German top flight for Thomas Tuchel. trip to Wolfsburg in August 2010 didn't start well with Edin Dzeko's opener for the hosts. Then Mario Mandzukic played in Dzeko again for his and Wolfsburg's second. And midfield playmaker Diego was the next to strike for Steve McLaren's side. Their third goal in seven minutes to make it 3-0 after just half an hour. Thomas Tuchel didn't look amused with his team's first away performance of the season, but it only got better for Mainz from there. Just before the break, Elkin Zorto's effort was deflected in by teammate Morton Rasmussen. A goal back for the visitors, leading to coach Tuchel to look a little more animated on the touchline. And some words of wisdom must have been said by Tuchel at the break, as Lewis Holtby's cross was tucked home by Elkin Zorto, just three minutes after the restart. And before the hour, a man Tuchel brought on at half-time, Andre Schürrle, pulled the visitors level. It was the 19-year-old's first goal of the season, not a bad way to score it either. He then celebrated in style with lead singer of the Brookfeg boys, Lewis Holtby. Thomas Tuchel still wanted more from his side, though, and with just five minutes to spare, Adam Solai provided. The Hungarian striker completing the most remarkable comeback, the biggest in Thomas Tuchel's time at the club. That made it two victories from two games for the campaign, and still, this was only the start of what would become a special winning run for the club. That run would climax a few weeks later against Hoffenheim. In October 2010, Mainz were top of the league, and Tuchel jumped into the stands to celebrate before even being handed the megaphone. So what warranted this kind of celebration? It was because they'd made it seven wins from their first seven games, and their lethal strike partnership combined with Adam Solai setting up Sami El Agui. Germany coach Joachim Löw was even there to admire the league leaders, and despite a Hoffenheim equaliser, Love will no doubt have liked Lewis Holtby's pass for Salai to make it 2-1 at the start of the second half. Mainz were on their way to becoming the third ever team in Bundesliga history to win their first seven games, and Holtby's cross deflected in off Luis Gustavo for the home side's third. Thomas Tuchel didn't seem to mind that it was an own goal. Even after Hoffenheim scored again, Andre Schüller converted for Mainz from the penalty spot. 4-2 to the home side, and time for Tuchel to get on the megaphone.
final game of the 2013-14 season turned out to be Tuchel's last match at the club. The top scorer Shinji Okazaki's goal made it 15 for the season for him and sealed the victory against Hamburg. In turn, it rounded off a seventh-place finish and a spot in Europa League qualification for the following season. Europe, we are coming, said the T-shirts. And with success in the Bundesliga comes beer being thrown around. With Mainz having clinched that Europa League spot, Thomas Tuchel was high on the list of targets for a beer soaking. Perhaps no surprise after their success, but still a very special way to say thanks for the season. How generous then that they drenched Tuchel not once, not twice, but three times. first Bundesliga win came against Louis van Gaal and Bayern, and so did his best Bundesliga victory. Away at the Allianz Arena, might shock the country with a magnificent display. With Holby, still Holby! What a fantastic goal! Sheer brilliance between Holby and Sami Alagui. A sumptuous finish by Sami Alagui, but then Mainz even did Bayern scoring for them on the stroke of half-time. Bo Svensson's header, a special own goal to make it one apiece. What's worse for goalkeeper Christian Fecklo was the helpless chase he had for the ball as it trickled past him for the Bayern equaliser. But late on, Adam Salai scored the winner that their performance deserved. Well, hello, football fans around the world. Now you know who Mainz are. Victory then for Mainz, and a harbinger for what would be a mighty season for the club, as they ended up fifth in the Bundesliga, Mainz's highest ever finish. A spot in Europa League qualification came too, and the mastermind behind it all was Thomas Tuchel.